What is the Google Cloud Platform? Hey everyone, Garth Jolte from CBT Nuggets. In this micro nugget, we're going to talk about Google's cloud. Now, the cloud is a really hot topic in IT these days, and it seems like there's a lot of cloud providers out there, especially the big guys, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Rackspace, the list goes on. So it helps when trying to figure out which cloud is right for you to understand the strengths and weaknesses of each cloud. So let's hone in on Google's cloud. We'll talk about the products, services, strengths, and see where it fits in the big cloud picture. So Google's cloud is a collection of cloud computing products and services by Google hosted on their world-class infrastructure, the same infrastructure that runs Google Search, YouTube, Gmail, Google Earth, all of their products. And what's so impressive about that is their network is the biggest and fastest on Earth. It spans the globe. All these data centers are connected by dark fiber. And when we talk about scale, speed, and reliability, we're talking about Google scale, speed, and reliability because your infrastructure, your application, or any solution that you build in Google's cloud is running on that same network that Google's products are running on. So it's an impressive infrastructure loaded with their own custom written distributed storage technologies that they have been perfecting and evolving since the early 2000s. So that's really all Google's cloud is. All of their products and services just sit on top of that same underlying technology that all of their internal products run on. It's just our way of tapping into it. It's the public's way of, uh, of working on top of that battle-tested mature underlying technology. So here's what Google's cloud consists of. We get Compute Engine which is their infrastructure as a service, a direct competitor to Amazon's EC2. So it's just virtual machines in the cloud. You build your networks up in the cloud. Google manages the hardware. You manage the software. We also get App Engine, which is Google's platform as a service. It's a really powerful and scalable application development environment. So this is what allows developers to just simply focus on writing code. They don't have to worry about the infrastructure that is going to host their application. Anytime you deploy your application to Google's cloud, App Engine, App Engine will spin up one or more virtual machines. Think of them as specialized virtual machines that contain everything your application needs to run. It's a great platform for applications of all shapes and sizes and quite the enabler for rapid application development. They also have cloud storage, which is storage as a service, a direct competitor to Amazon's S3. And you know, most businesses, when they look at the cloud, usually start here with storage as a service. It's a great and easy way to get into the cloud because if you have a lot of files or unstructured data out there, rather than buy more NASs or SANs, it's just much more cost effective to use the cloud to put that data. And then the natural progression from there is usually onto infrastructure as a service. And you know, that's another thing, cloud adoption. Right now, because the cloud is so young and, and there's some challenges out there, namely data security, it's an if proposition for most companies. But you're gonna see this transform over the next few years into a when. So it's not going to be if I get into the cloud, it's going to be when I get into the cloud, especially as all these cloud providers mature their existing products, add more products, and then compete with one another, which is going to plummet the prices. It's just going to become a no-brainer. And on top of that, if you're an IT professional, now is a great time to start getting into the cloud and learning what it's all about. Moving on, let's talk about BigQuery. So BigQuery is Google's analysis as a service offering, and it really has no competitors out there. No other big cloud provider has a product quite like it. BigQuery aims to solve one of the pain points we see in any big data pipeline today, and that is real-time analytics. Big data professionals, when they need to ask questions of their big data, they're usually waiting around hours to days for those answers, depending on how much data they have. Well, if they were to stick BigQuery at the end of that pipeline, they can analyze terabytes of data in seconds. They can ask their questions and get their answers in real time. BigQuery just feels ahead of its time. I mean, the big data revolution just began not long ago, so it's pretty cool that we already have an analysis as a service product out there. At the same time, though, it's, it's, it's no surprise that it came from Google, the ones responsible for the big data revolution and really the masters of big data. Moving on, we also have data or database as a service. We've got two offerings here, Cloud SQL, which is fully hosted managed MySQL instances in Google's cloud, and Cloud Data Store which is their NoSQL solution that App Engine can natively hit, or it's also its own standalone product that you can hit from external applications through the Data Store API. Finally, Google has a metric ton of APIs out there that we can work with to easily enrich our applications and our data. All of their major products here exposed in API, many of their internal products exposed in API, Gmail, Google+, Google Maps, plus they've got other services that they expose as APIs. You've got cloud endpoints here, which can easily enable you to create your own API backend, so you can expose your data to web clients and mobile clients. You have the translation API, very simple API to use to translate your data. And you also have the prediction API, which is chock full of machine learning algorithms to help you do things like predict future trends based on historical data. 
And that's just scratching the surface as far as APIs go. So just think of the Google Cloud Platform as a big box of Legos that you can use to build whatever you want, big or small. So why choose Google's cloud over, say, Microsoft's cloud or Amazon's cloud? And I just want to prefix this by saying I'm a total IT hippie. I love everybody and everybody's cloud, so it's all good. You know, they're, they're all helping move each other forward, so there's, there's nothing but love here. <laughs> With that said, let's look at some of the major factors that businesses look at when choosing a cloud provider. Price is always a big one. And usually when a cloud provider slashes their prices, all the other cloud providers follow suit. But Google takes the cake on this one because, number one, they charge you by the minute rather than by the hour. And number two, they have what's known as sustained usage discounts. So the more you use it, the cheaper it gets. Performance is another one. In fact, these are the two big factors today. If you just do a Google search, which cloud provider should I choose, you're going to get a lot of price and performance-based articles. Performance is pretty comparable, though. These are all big, fast clouds. It's really relative to what you're doing in the cloud. So my advice would be if performance is a huge factor, uh, then, then take a sample workflow, put it up in each cloud, measure it, and find out which one is, is right for you. Uh, otherwise, as I mentioned, they're, they're all pretty fast. Availability. This one shouldn't be too big of a factor because all these clouds support the five nines, 99.999% availability. Security is a big challenge for all of these cloud providers today, especially after that whole NSA thing went down last year. But Google is winning this one by a mile right now because not only do they automatically encrypt their customers' data on the network as well as at rest, which these other cloud providers don't do, at least by default, but they're also laying fiber optics all across the oceans connecting their data centers so they can uh, further protect their customer data from, you know, those who shall not be named again. <laughs> Current offerings, that's kind of a no-brainer. I mean, if a cloud doesn't have something that you need, then you're probably not going to choose that cloud. On the other end, if multiple clouds have the same thing, like infrastructure as a service or storage as a service, then you'll have to do some comparative analysis to see which one is right for you. But keep an eye out for Google here because they are extremely fast to market, whether it be new products or adding features or enhancements to existing products, they're fast. They may have been last to the game, but watch out because their cloud is evolving much faster than all the other clouds. And finally, innovations. This is another big one where Google shines because they've, they've been innovating since the late 90s. And if you look at their cloud, you can see it all over the place. App Engine, BigQuery. Just at Google I.O. in June, they announced Cloud Dataflow which is, uh, again, another product where there's just nothing out there like it on the market. So it's certainly an exciting time to be a part of the cloud. Grab some popcorn and watch the cloud wars continue between all these big cloud providers. Just keep an eye out on Google's cloud. They're old hats at this. They're not afraid to innovate, and I think we're going to see even more cool stuff come out of their cloud in the future. In the CBT Micro Nugget, we defined what the Google Cloud platform is all about. We saw that it's a collection of products and services that we can use to build solutions that are hosted on Google's infrastructure. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.